Most Filipinos know about the Manila Trench to the west. Some have heard of the East Luzon Trench to the east or the Cotabato Trench down south. But there's another fault system running right through the heart of the Philippines that almost nobody talks about. The Negros Trench. And it sits directly beneath some of the most densely populated islands in the Visayas. Cebu City, Bacolod, Dumaguete, Bahol. Millions of people live within the impact zone of this trench, and most of them have no idea it exists. This is the forgotten threat in the central Philippines. The Negros Trench isn't like the other trenches we've covered. It's not a massive offshore subduction zone that generates tsunamis. It's part of the Philippine Fault System, a network of active fault lines that runs through the entire archipelago. The Negros Trench specifically runs through the Visayas region, cutting between Negros Island and Cebu Island, extending north toward Masbate and south through the Bohol Sea. Think about that geography for a moment. This fault line runs directly between two major islands. Cebu, home to Cebu City, the second largest metropolitan area in the Philippines. Negros, home to Bacolod and Dumaguete. And nearby, Bohol, a major tourist destination. All of them sit right on top of an active seismic zone. Unlike the Manila or Cotabato trenches, which are offshore and primarily threaten coastal areas with tsunamis, the Negros Trench is close enough to land that earthquakes here cause direct ground shaking, structural damage and landslides across multiple islands simultaneously. And it's not a theoretical threat. We know this trench is active because it already killed people. February 6th, 2012. 11.49 a.m. A magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck near Negros Oriental, originating from the Negros Trench Fault System. The shaking lasted about a minute. Buildings collapsed. Landslides buried villages. Roads cracked open. Power lines fell. By the time it was over, 51 people were dead. Hundreds more were injured. Thousands of homes were destroyed or damaged. The earthquake hit during the day when people were at work and school. If it had struck at night, when people were asleep in their homes, the death toll would have been much higher. The 2012 earthquake was a wake-up call. It proved the Negros Trench is active and capable of producing deadly earthquakes. But here's the scary part. Magnitude 6.7 is not the worst this fault system can do. Geological studies suggest the Negros Trench is capable of producing magnitude 7.0 or even 7.5 earthquakes. That's three to ten times more powerful than the 2012 event. A magnitude 7.5 earthquake in the central Visayas would be catastrophic. Computer models show what would happen if a major earthquake struck the Negros Trench today. A magnitude 7.0 or higher quake would affect multiple islands simultaneously. Cebu, Negros, Bohol, possibly even parts of Leyte and Panay. The shaking would last 30 seconds to a minute, long enough to cause widespread structural failure. Cebu City, with its dense urban population and high-rise buildings, would be especially vulnerable. Many older structures weren't built to modern seismic standards. A major quake could cause catastrophic building collapses. Bohol's famous Chocolate Hills region and tourist areas would experience severe shaking and landslides. The 2013 Bohol earthquake, magnitude 7.2, showed how vulnerable the island is. Over 200 people died and historic churches collapsed. Negros Island's mountainous interior would face massive landslides, cutting off remote communities. Bacolod and Dumaguete, the major cities, would see infrastructure damage and power outages. Fivolx estimates that a magnitude 7.5 earthquake on the Negros Trench could affect up to 10 million people across the Visayas. Here's what makes the Negros Trench particularly dangerous. Most of the central Visayas isn't prepared. 
Unlike Metro Manila, which has conducted earthquake drills and retrofitted some buildings, much of the Visayas has minimal earthquake preparedness. Buildings aren't up to seismic code. Evacuation plans are incomplete. Public awareness is low. After the 2012 earthquake, there was a brief push for better preparedness. FIVOLX issued warnings. Local governments talked about updating building codes. Then attention faded. People moved on. New buildings went up without proper seismic design. Coastal development continued and the Negro's Trench was forgotten again. But the geology hasn't changed. The fault is still there, still building pressure, still capable of producing deadly earthquakes. Fivolx has mapped the Negro's Trench and identified it as one of the most underestimated seismic threats in the Philippines. They've published warnings, they've conducted studies, but resources are limited and the Visayas doesn't get the same attention as Luzon. The irony is that Central Philippines has some of the highest population densities in the country. Cebu City alone has over 900,000 people in the city proper, with 2.8 million in the metro area. Add Bacolod, Dumaguete, Bohol and surrounding islands, and you're looking at over 7 million people living in the Negros Trench impact zone. That's more than the population at risk from the Manila Trench. Yet the Negros Trench barely makes headlines. There's also an economic factor. The Visayas is a major tourist destination. Cebu's beaches, Bohol's chocolate hills, diving in Negros, these bring millions of tourists and billions of pesos to the region every year. A major earthquake would devastate not just lives, but the entire regional economy. The Negros Trench is a fault system running through the heart of the central Philippines. It's not offshore. It's not theoretical. It's active, proven, and capable of magnitude 7.0 plus earthquakes. Millions live in the impact zone. Most don't know the trench exists. Earthquake preparedness is minimal. Building codes are inadequate. And the 2012 earthquake that killed 51 people was just a preview of what this fault system can do. The Manila Trench gets attention because it threatens the capital. The Cotabato Trench is remembered because 8,000 died in 1976. But the Negros Trench? It's the forgotten threat. And that's what makes it so dangerous. What should the Visayas region do to prepare for a major Negros Trench earthquake? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more videos about deep sea threats in the Philippines, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because sometimes the deadliest dangers are the ones closest to home.